welcome to the video tutorial for Google Docs. To create a new Google document, click on the red Create button and choose Document. To title your new document, click the words Untitled Document at the top of the screen and name your document. As soon as you have named your document or typed in text, to your document, Google will save your changes automatically, uh, periodically. So you, there's no name, there's no file save button in Google Docs. If you want to see your revision history, you can click on All Changes Saved in Drive, and your revision history will show up on the right hand of the screen. You can see the last time your document was saved. You can also click each revision checkpoint to see changes made or to restore to that revision. Next I'm going to go over your basic options for formatting from the formatting toolbar in Google Docs. So in the formatting toolbar you can do a variety of things. Just select the text you wish to edit and you can change the fonts, the size, make it bold, italics, or underlined, change the color, change the background color, you can also change the alignment, the line spacing, single, one and a half, or double, as well as add numbering or bullet points or indent paragraphs. You can also change the type of formatting if, by clicking the normal text. This, it's called the style menu. And you can change the format or the formatting to title, heading, subtitle, and there are also different options. To clear all formatting, click the T with the X, and it'll clear all formatting back to what it was previously. You can insert a variety of things into your Google Doc, including links, pictures, um, and tables. To insert a link into your Google Doc, click the link icon on the formatting toolbar or click insert link. Choose the text you would like to display and then the URL for that link. And then press OK and it will insert the link for you. To insert an image, Go to the Insert menu and click Image, and then choose an image to upload from your computer. This image will show up in the uploading box and will insert right into your document and you can change the size. You can also insert from a URL, take a snapshot using your webcam, or insert any images you may have in Google Drive, or do a Google image search and insert right from Google Images. To insert a table into your document, you use the table menu, so click table, insert table, and you can choose the dimensions of your table, and then anything that you need to do for formatting of your table you do through the table menu. So if I need to add a column, I do so through the table menu. You can delete the table. You can also control the table properties by picking a different border. You can do cell background colors, change the dimensions. So all of that is through the table menu. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to collaborate through comments. So if you have shared your full, if you have shared your document, you may comment on it so that others can view it. So to insert a comment, click where you would like to insert it, click comments, and you can insert a comment. And click now anyone that you have shared this document with will be able to see the comments in the margin and vice versa. To resolve a comment, simply click Resolve. Okay, those are the basic features of Google Docs.